Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us on this New Year's Day, which sadly has been very eventful for HPD. A still developing story, an island-wide manhunt for a shooting suspect. Right now, University Avenue is closed from Metcalf to King, including Dole Street. Now, the police union confirms the suspect is in custody and two officers were shot. Let's go live to Jen Boniza. Now, Jen, what can you tell us? Bridge Dash, the investigation is ongoing, but as you said, officials have confirmed that a suspect of an island-wide manhunt that started at 7 a.m. this morning is in custody. We're also told that two officers have been shot. They've been taken to the hospital. We're unsure of their condition, but let me step out of the way here. You can see an active investigation here, and, and you see that white vehicle there. It's got one of its windows are clearly broken, and we believe that that was involved in the takedown of the suspect just an hour ago, shortly after 4 p.m. Now, this manhunt started around 7 a.m. this morning when a woman was found with multiple gunshot wounds on Moanalua Freeway. Now, she was taken to the hospital in serious condition. Police say the suspect involved in that shooting was also involved in a shooting in Kalihi. And then several hours later, we believe that the suspect carjacked a vehicle in Kaneohe before leading police on a chase around the island that ultimately ended ended here at University and Dole Street shortly after 4 p.m. Again, Shopo confirms that the suspect is in custody. We are unsure of his condition, whether or not he's been shot. We did see two ambulances here earlier, and we did see someone loaded into one of those ambulances, and we do know that two officers were also shot uh, here around 4 p.m. Again, no uh, word on their condition. Now, there still are a lot of questions here, but good news is that the suspect uh, involved that police were looking for in that island-wide manhunt is in custody. We will continue to keep you updated on the latest. Jen Boniza live from the university. Jen, uh, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Back to you in studio. All righty, Jen, as you heard, a lot of details are still emerging. There's still much to be learned. We do know that incident on University Avenue wound up and concluded a very busy day for police that have been investigating several shootings. Max Rodriguez has more on the events that led up to the final shooting just an hour ago. Bullets flying in Kalihi. Witnesses say a man shot at another car near North King and Kalihi streets. Police say a suspect wanted for attempted murder and robbery shot at an unmarked police car after officers tried to arrest him. That's really scary. It's really scary. And there are things that happen in Kalihi all the time in the middle of the night, not during the day. Police say the suspect was driving a stolen car and then stole another car at gunpoint. Erin Valentine and her mother were waiting on a red light in the intersection of Hui'iwa Street and Kahekili Highway when a white SUV passed a red light and slammed into another car. Her mother jumped out the car to help, but something was off. And then that's when I saw the rifle in his hand. The man then approached her car. He just opened up the car and he had the gun down on his side and he just lifted it up. It was a long rifle and just lifted it up to my face and just said, get out. Police also responding to a shooting on New Year's Day morning. EMS treated a 39-year-old woman on the 1A off-ramp on Moanalua Freeway eastbound. About 7 o'clock this morning in the stadium area, we had a, an incident where a woman was shot uh, multiple times. Police have not released information to determine if the morning and afternoon incidents are connected. I'm just happy that, you know, I'm, I'm safe, right? My mom's safe. Max Rodriguez, KH1 News, working for Hawaii.